have a feeling that this is going to be the start of like a whole new era on this channel. Want to guess? That behind me is the University of New Mexico where we are gonna be for the next three days for the International Association for College Admissions Counseling Conference. Whew, that's a lot to say. The IACAC conference brings together three different groups of people. First of all, there are high school counselors. These are the people that help you in school to find a university, they submit all your documents. They do a ton of important work for you. The second group are the university admissions counselors. These are the people who go and try to pull students from different regions to come to their universities. They're the people that oversee your applications. These people are here and I've been talking to a whole bunch of them. That just leaves me. I'm part of the third group. We're the independent counselors. We're the other people, the other guys that provide counseling services and help you enjoy your experience abroad. There are over 1,000 people from across these three different groups representing over 300 universities and high schools, both in the United States and abroad. I wanna show you guys my experience at this conference. This is kind of an amazing thing for us. It's our first time ever getting to go to this conference. I had no idea what to really expect. But I'm going to let the conference speak for itself and just show you what I've been doing for the past few days here in Albuquerque. Why do you have registration so far away from where shit is happening? I don't know. They want you to... Walk around. I feel like this this is more of a like maybe maybe the IACAC is actually like doing some really dark stuff <laughs> and they're like prepping people for human sacrifice. If they get you nice and tired, it's game over. Alright, here's the spot. So you didn't have any more lanyards? No. Well, that's okay. This is okay. You know? No, it's horrible, but... I think it makes us stand out, you know? So we're going to look a little different. And that's good for you. You like standing out. We look poor. Yeah, we're from Peru, which is in the Caribbean. So that's how it works. Or lanyards next to you. Yeah, now we know. We just gotta bring our own awesome lanyards so that it doesn't matter where we go, we got lanyards. It is absolutely crazy down here. I cannot believe all these universities that are down here. Like, just look at this. I mean, it's like... Like, in literally just in a matter of like 15 minutes, I've already made three arrangements with three different universities in Canada. Like my first few days on this next tour are already booked because everybody here is super friendly. It's been an amazing experience so far. I am loving it. And it's only the first day. International ACAC, it was a new experience for me and as someone who is getting exposed to the admissions profession and someone who wants to see the global education scale, this has been the most expansive and worldly event that I've ever been to in my entire life and to be connected with so many people and see so many different individuals with a passion for the future and the education of others is something that really is powerful and something that makes not only of course this industry but this pro this profession and this conference special.
So this is my first time at this conference, IACAC, and it's been a beautiful experience. I can't believe how lucky I am to get to work among people who are passionate about what they do and, and truly believe in the power of education and making it accessible to students around the world. So it's been a lot of fun to make these unique connections um, and it's it's been an honor to be here. No voy a usar esto, solamente que estoy probando una nueva configuración con el audio. Ah, con el micrófono ahí? Sí, y quiero experimentar un poco, ver cómo suena. It's day two of the conference. Now it's our turn. We get to have a stand full of cool stuff that everybody wants to come over and see. That's the basic franchise right there. Tavo's gonna have COVID. Tavo's gonna have COVID. Oh, awesome. Did you get? Did you upgrade your like insurance so that if you die, we get like a million dollars? Yeah. Awesome. Yes, Sweet. Yeah. If I do end up making a video out of this university, I'm gonna be glad we got like five days here because I wouldn't want to film all this in one day. <laughs> that would be exhausting. I think this heat would make me the least entertaining person on the internet. Like, you just don't have the energy to completely deliver what your audience expects. It's hard. <laughs> like, you gotta really try hard to keep your energy up here. You have to push yourself. And you wanna be in the shade whenever humanly possible. Oh, it's so much better. I'm already looking forward to next year's conference because this conference has clearly shown me that we gotta come back here every single year. It's an incredible event, just a one-of-a-kind opportunity to meet a bunch of people and to learn more about what it's like to you know, be a college admissions counselor and the best practices and the things that we should be doing and things that we shouldn't be doing. Being here is gonna help us to provide you with better service. It's also gonna help us provide you with better content because in just a few days, I've managed to secure several visits to a bunch of universities coming up. So I'm gonna be visiting them and showing you guys everything you need to know to become a student at one of those universities. Just to give you a taste, I'm talking about Texas Christian University, Southern Methodist University, York in Canada. It's gonna be a multinational trip. That's pretty good. I'm gonna leave it there.